Okay, first thing in the morning we do pack walk. So far, Uso and Anak, they're doing really good together. Hey, back up, bro. And this girl, Miss B, Miss B is a bully. She's gonna punk her out of her bed and she's gonna take any toy that the Doberman has. She's just a bully. She knows her size, so she's using it to her advantage. She's a lot bigger. She knows it. This be the black corso. You guys couldn't go around me? She's almost eight months old, probably 90 pounds. You see how she jumps a lot? <laughs> crazy like she's biting her leg she can be real annoying and they're taking it both the black and the tan dog are both taking it from her so we're probably about 10 15 minutes in to our pack walk the energy seems to be a little lower they're more uh, focus on the environment and the area around them as opposed to each other they're all going crazy playing with each other the Doberman really likes interaction with other dogs and the black dog really loves toys she'll pick anything up and chew on it and then so the Doberman comes over and tries to take it from her and then there you go just like siblings, man. The Doberman is six months old. The Black Corso is eight months old. And Uso is five years old. King Scott. Alright, this is a cool spot. When she gets too much like that, I interfere. You know, she's cornered there and she keeps bugging her, so I don't feel like that's a good situation. So yeah, she can do all that with her mouth, but as soon as she starts jumping, yeah, I don't like that. No jumping and no boxing. Bro, look, now look at her, biting my camera. In there. I'm telling you, Doberman's Dober crazy. Oh, she loves to bite. She's gonna be good in protection work and guard work. If that's the route my brother wants to go. So, okay. So the goal here is just to kind of chill, right? The goal is to kind of just chill in one spot and let the dogs collect themselves. And, you know, see, look. And that's okay with me. I like that, actually. This is, you know, building a bond between all the members of the pack and it's supervised so I can come in and interfere if I need to if I feel like it's kind of getting dangerous you know it, the emotions are high drive is high 
I'll settle it back down. And then um, I'm gonna work on a little bit of training. So uh, let's see, let's try to find a good view over here. No. Side. Side. Uso. Side. This. All right. So what this is doing is. Letting everybody know I'm in control of food. Nobody fights over food. Everyone just be patient. And if you look at me, you'll, you'll get some food. You'll get some snacks. Everyone needs to be patient. Everybody gets their share. Then I'll do some commands at the same time. Uso, plots. Lots. Uso, Asi. And up, down. Uso, lots. This right here is Ms. B. We've had her for almost a month. And she's the spoiled one out of the group. She's a pretty, she's a laid back dog, low energy, loves to cuddle and doesn't shed that much. Doesn't drool as much as either. So this is a, it's a really good house pet Corso. And we're very happy to have her here. She's like a therapy dog. Don't touch my camera.